Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura for those of you that do not know and today's video is going to be a book talk on Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian which I just finished yesterday and I wasn't planning on doing a book talk for this book but it ended up being my first five star rated book of 2018. I have not rated a single other book five out of five stars yet and because of that I felt like I really wanted to share it with you guys and let you guys know how much I really enjoyed this book if you haven't yet picked it up or haven't heard of it or anything like that I really want to have a chance to talk to you guys about this book because I absolutely loved it it's a really cute summer contemporary read so it's perfect for the time and I'm just really excited to talk about it to you guys today so I'm gonna have a non-spoiler section right here and then we are going to go into some details for the people that have read the book already so that'll be at the end so if you haven't yet read stay sweet stick around and i'll tell you guys a little bit about the book um and then we can get into some details later so this book it follows a young girl named amelia who since she was a freshman in high school has been spending every single summer working at mead creamery which is their local ice cream place in town um she's loved working there it's an all girls work environment so it's all young teenage girls that work at this ice cream stand every single summer and they share this impeccable bond with each other and they love working together and it's like their favorite part of every single summer. She's been working there since she was a freshman. This book starts out at the summer before she goes to college. As far as we know, it's her last summer working at Mead Creamery because once you're in college, you know, you kind of start to do different stuff, maybe internships, things like that. But when this guy, Grady, who is related to the founder of the ice cream stand, um, comes in and says that he's taking over the business, things get a little bit crazy and different because a boy has never worked at Mead Creamery. It's always been an all women run business, all young girls working there. And he's trying to change things up. He's looking into business plans and it's scary. And that's just the start of this book, honestly. That's just kind of where we start out with. But so much happens in this book, uh, dealing with friendships, dealing with relationships, family, college, school, work. Like It's just such a realistic view of a teenage girl, an 18 year old girl getting ready to go to college. All of the characters in this book just felt so real to me, like they could actually exist in real life and I know them. Like everybody knows somebody like Amelia. I personally feel like I shared so many qualities with Amelia especially when I was in high school and I was a younger teenager uh, so many things I felt so much like resonated with me things that she felt and different situations that she found herself in which you'll see in the book things that happened with her friends and relationships and all that kind of stuff I just really resonated with her on so much and a lot of the side characters too I really felt were just so real and I know that this book has had mixed reviews people saying you know the romance is this or that or the friendship seems catty or whatever but you have to remember this is a book about 18 years old girls trying to run a business together and things get crazy there's catty fights there's situations but to me it just felt real it made it more realistic like I don't know I just really resonated with this book and everything that was in it so so much that it made me love it even more so that's why I gave it five stars it just it was a really fun story but I also just really connected with it and its main character also just letting you guys know the book is told in third person kind of threw me off at first I just want to throw that out there for any of you guys that are used to reading books in first person maybe you're used to third person I really wasn't it threw me off a bit at the beginning but I got used to it um, but yes that is what stay sweet is about it's super cute super fun for the summer contemporary read um, definitely has some more depth to it but it is super fun you could like read it on the beach I was craving ice cream so bad you don't even know it goes into so much detail about the ice cream at Mead Creamery that you're just like craving ice cream every second of this book honestly I was it was actually insane but in all honesty I just really Really adored this book so much Siobhan did such a great job with it and I loved it so so much so that's why I wanted to share with you guys so if you have not read stay sweet yet go off get the book read it tell me what you thought about it and come back leave a comment watch the spoilery section of the video but for now I'm going to be getting into some spoilers so that's gonna start right now I know I already touched on this briefly but I just really want to drive home the fact that I just really connected to Amelia as a person and as a friend the way that her and Kate's friendship was Kate is like the girl who seems perfect everything just kind of goes her way without her trying it and Amelia takes every step to get to where she hopes to be and still doesn't feel good enough I could honestly put myself in Amelia's shoes because I had so many friends like Kate growing up girls that just seem perfect effortlessly 
easily and always get what they want and are so easygoing and don't really care but they seem like they care like so effortlessly put together and strong and beautiful and wonderful and then there's Amelia who's always second guessing herself always trying so hard but not seeing the results that Kate has like I just really resonated with that and I've always had friendships like that in my whole life it's just how I grew up being I've never really read a friendship like this one that was so much like ones that I had when I was younger so that was really refreshing um, and interesting to read about because I really just deeply connected me to the book more um, I loved the whole idea of Mead Creamery and how all of these girls were so dedicated to the stand and just grew such a strong friendship out of their work environment together I can really relate to that as well like growing up I didn't work at an all-girls ice cream stand but I worked at the local movie theater and all of us were friends there every single summer everyone looked forward to being with each other and just working every single day and it was hard work but it was fun and we would all hang out after and it was just a really good experience so I can really relate to having like that really fun summer job and everybody leaving for college that was something in the book that I also really loved watching I loved seeing all of the girls interactions with each other and how they had such a strong bond based on their work so that was really really nice I was really caught off guard when I started the book and it just seemed like oh fun it's gonna be another summer and then Amelia discovers that Molly died in the stand which is so heartbreaking and I was like oh no like what are they gonna do how are they gonna fix this obviously I knew going into this that somebody comes in and takes over the stand but I was just like this doesn't seem like it's going well whatsoever like that's really sad and I don't know what they're gonna do I was really nervous that Grady was gonna show up and be like super stuck up and everyone would just hate him so bad and I thought it was gonna be more of like a hate to love relationship with him and Amelia but it seemed like she actually did like him from the start and he was pretty nice to her him and Kate often you know butted heads but I felt like Amelia from the start really did like him and he liked her as well so I didn't really think it was like that I have seen multiple people say that they thought Grady and Amelia's relationship went way too fast but I didn't feel that at all I thought it was like a really moderate pace they were getting to know each other they were hanging out at the farmhouse when Amelia starts to make the ice cream or make try to make the ice cream um, and I just thought that like the build-up to their first kiss was pretty natural I don't know maybe that's just me but I feel like I've had experiences with boys that are like that you know you just kind of click really fast and then you kiss like I don't know it just seemed normal to me I don't know the one thing that genuinely upset me during this book was Amelia picking Grady over her friends time after time after time but the reason I'm not gonna fault the book on that is because it felt so realistic like I could totally relate to that in fact the summer before I went to college I got a boyfriend who's still my boyfriend and um, it was really hard because all of my friends were going away to college but I had just met this boy and we were connecting so well and I wanted to be with him all the time because it was so new and exciting and wonderful but all my friends were like come on like we're literally leaving you in a month <laughs> And you're never gonna see us again or like you're never gonna see us so often um, the time is now to hang out every single day but all I wanted to do was hang out with my boyfriend and it was a really difficult thing that happened and it was really hard because I was kind of not seeing that I was putting my friends on the back burner and more so I was just excited about my new relationship when they were upset with me and I didn't really realize it so Amelia choosing him a few times over her friends and kind of overlooking it I thought was so realistic and I really understood it and again something that really resonated with me it really upset me though when she didn't go to the 4th of July party that was really sad that was obviously like a really big fun thing they were trying to do with the girls and the fact that she missed that that really upset me but I think she knew at that point what she was getting herself into and what was going on um, but it was still really sad I was like come on girl pick your friends I was so upset <laughs> during the scene where Amelia and Kate were fighting and then Amelia fires her that scene literally broke my heart because again you could tell that they were so close and there was this boy coming between them and ruining everything and it was just like so upsetting at that point I didn't even care if she ended up with Grady I was like she just needs to restore her friendships like that's the most important thing um, and it was just so heartbreaking the scene was so intense they were literally screaming at each other and just throwing it all out there but I thought again it was such a realistic fight I saw someone say that all the fights in this book were so catty and unrealistic and ridiculous but like 
absolutely not like that is what teenage girls fight about like they get mad at each other for not supporting each other and stupid things like and they all bottle up inside you and it just comes out like I just thought it was such a realistic fight and something that would happen between two girls in real life in high school so I don't know I thought it was pretty realistic it really broke my heart though I was like they need to restore this friendship I will not take no for an answer um, it was so sad but I'm so happy that they did at the end and everything was good was anybody else trying to guess what home sweet home's flavor was what the sweetness was since that first chapter in the book with Molly's diary entry I was like what the heck what is it and I was like dying when I found it it was flowers Who'd have known? Who'd have known? Speaking of Molly though, I really liked how they incorporated the diary entries into the book. I thought that was so fun and different to read like her diary entries from like the war, from the 40s. It was so cool. Um, and then at the end when we see Tiggy, her friend, show up to the stand and tell the real story about what happened with Molly and what was his name? the guy that she was gonna marry who was in war I honestly forget his name but yeah the truth of what went down with them and how she was actually so empowered and the ice cream stand wasn't because she was sad or anything like that she was doing it for herself and because she was truly happy and that was like a really nice ending to hear you know I was really happy with that so the ending of this book where we see Amelia really upset that Grady is going to be selling the stand because obviously he runs out of money um, and she comes up with the idea to take the truck and start her own mobile business with the ice creams I was literally so happy I felt like it pieced together so well like Grady buying that truck early on in the book I was like okay that's random but it actually ended up like coming back and then the fact that she used like a really modern like GoFundMe type thing to like raise money for herself I thought was super clever and unique to anything I've ever read before so I thought that was really fun how Siobhan incorporated that because it's so modern to its time and makes sense and I think it really worked so I was super happy with that I was so happy everything tied together in the end so nicely it was like she was reacquainted with her friends her and Grady were doing well the ice cream shop wasn't going to be dying which I was really worried about I feel like I could have seen it going either way like they could have just like closed down and had like a nice little ending to it or it could have kept going and I love how she pointed out you know Molly was 17 when she started the ice cream shop and it became her life and she was so happy and engrossed with it and that's the same for her like she's 17 and this is what she's passionate about and she wants to carry on the legend which I just thought was so special and wonderful and I really really liked it overall I just thought this was such a fun book and I loved everything that played out into it I loved the relationships the friendships the ice cream stand just everything about this book was so great and just wrapped up all together with a nice bow at the end and I loved it so so much so I gave it five stars and I'd love to hear what you guys thought about the book I don't know maybe it's just because I felt so close to it that I gave it five stars but I truly did love it the writing was wonderful Siobhan just good job Siobhan you did a great job I love this so that's gonna be it for the book talk I hope you guys enjoyed it I really only do book talks when I'm super excited about a book or I hate a book or I just want to share a book so I don't do them as often as I'd like to but if you did like this one let me know so I'll do more in the future thank you guys so much for watching this video leave me a comment letting me know what you thought about stay sweet I'd love to hear about it and thank you so so much for watching I will see you in my next video bye